Okay, so he had multiple bite wounds, old wounds that were already scarred over, plus some new wounds um, on the side of his head. His left ear was um, mostly torn off. Um, it was still attached on the top, but the, the whole bottom of the ear was torn off. Um, and then everything was pretty infected where there was a lot of pus and, and infected material underneath the ear. So we anesthetized him, clipped up all the wounds, cleaned up his wounds, removed all the dead tissue, and then reattached his ear. Um, and then we put a, an antibiotic ointment over the majority of those wounds. Um, and now it's uh, having him on pain meds and antibiotics and, and hopefully everything holds. and. And he's we were able to save the ear and uh, and, and save save his life. Uh, he appears to be what's called a bait dog. Uh, in in dog fighting rings, they have a dog that's a bait dog. Usually, they're not the not very aggressive dogs, so they will use them to train the other dogs on how to fight. And he doesn't have any wounds on his muzzle, so he probably had a muzzle on, and then they let other dogs attack him essentially to uh, to teach them how to fight. So most of his wounds were away from his muzzle and on the side of his head and in his neck and his ears. And so that's unfortunately what some people do with these dogs to, to teach other ones how to fight. Uh, he's a very happy dog. He was wagging his tail and, um, and, and very responsive to us even with all those wounds before everything. Um, so I, I think he's got a good prognosis to do well and, and hopefully we can place him in a, in a home and, and um, get him out of the situation he was in.